Good day everyone, this is Crypto Pirate Follower Project and my name is Dan. Today I would like to tell you about Winx project and its features. This project is Ethereum based. It was one of the most interesting coins in 2016. And right now it is an alpha stage, so you can actually try it out. Let's begin. What is the main idea of Winx? What problem does this project want to solve? The main idea is to become a platform for creating decentralized autonomous organizations. Perhaps you would say that anybody who is willing to create DAO can do it using Solidity. Yes, that is true. You can write smart contracts yourself. But if you want to simplify the process and use the community of Wings, you can actually create DAO from Wings platform by choosing the right parameters for your project. The main feature of Winx platform is its Futarchy engine. What is it? Basically, someone puts a proposal on a particular DAO. For example, he proposes that the founders of the DAO redesigns the site. Then, the token holders start voting on the proposal by choosing if the move will have positive impact on the price. It looks like that. As you can see, the decision is to redesign the site and there are two options on the vertical axis to implement the decision to redesign or not. And the horizontal axis has the expected outcome of both decisions. If the decision is expected to increase the price of project's tokens, the voters will lean more towards right side. If the decision is expected to decrease the price, the left side. The same voting mechanism is applied to no voting. You choose if the decision to do nothing will impact the price for project's tokens. Here is the example of the cho choices the forecasters from Winx can make. From this example, we can see that the decision to redesign the site is forecasted to increase the price of tokens. So the project's founders have to take this into account and redesign the site. This is how using the so-called swarm intelligence, this community will be able to predict price change as a result of certain event. By the way, guys, I hope you understand that I mean the projects that are built on Wings Wings platform. It's not about Wings itself. Wings will use chatbots as the main way to participate in voting and submission of proposals. For example, you will be able to access your profile from Telegram bot. For investors, it is not an option to simply hold the tokens. The reason is that you will not be able to receive rewards for voting. And it looks like you will be able to collect quite a lot of rewards by participating in the Wings community. But perhaps soon the Wings developers will create governance option which will help investors in that sphere by allowing our participants to vote on the investor's behalf. This is what I mean. Direct governance is when you vote directly on the matter. Liquid governance is when you can vote directly or you can delegate your vote to someone else. Another option is representative governance. It consists of delegates only, where you have to choose the right person to vote. As I understand, you can get a lot of tokens from voting on the success of the projects, then they will be in the ICO stage on Bing's platform. By voting, you will be able to receive either part of the project's tokens or part of the collected funds by the project. In order to get listed on the platform, you must pay Wings tokens. Now, let's touch the token characteristics. First is the distribution of collected funds. 75% was distributed to investors. 17 incentives. 5.5% to advisors and 25 to bounties. There is no inflation. 100 million tokens created. During the ICO, the project collected 2,000 bitcoins. The profits are made only by active participants of Wings platform. And the capitalization of Wings at the moment is $20 million, which is quite impressive. One of the reasons the platform was created is the will to mitigate such catastrophes as DAO debacle. The Winx platform gives you opportunity to construct your own DAO using standardized smart contracts which were checked and audited. 
So, the DAO was the biggest investment fund on Ethereum until it collapsed. DAO collected about 13% of all Ether supply back then. Right now, this fund could be valued at 1 billion USD. Unfortunately, as later was disclosed, the Slocky team didn't conduct a proper audit for the smart contract, and many people blame them for the bug. Actually, I am very happy that this bug happened. Because of it, many teams now double-check their code before release. Thank you, DAO. If you want the details, the code which is responsible for checking balance was improperly placed in smart contract, so that the hackers exploited this part by sending a lot of requests per second. By doing that, the smart contract didn't check that it already sent the coins, and did it over and over again. Thanks to the protection mechanism, the hackers needed to wait 30 days to access the ethers they drained. A lot of ethers were almost in possession of hackers. It was a big problem for the community, so even proof-of-stake mechanism was in danger. Ethereum Foundation made the right decision to slay the monster and return the funds to its owners making it clear that such situations where one project accumulates such a huge bag of ethers should not happen in future. And yes, the Ethereum Classic chain is where hackers got away with their crime and where miners will rule forever. Thanks for watching, hoping to see you in my next video. Bye, until the next time.